Hello, I'm Dr. Chakrages, and this is going to be your monthly reading for the sign of who? Yes, you, Scorpio. Scorpio sun, Scorpio moon, Scorpio rising, Scorpio cusp, and so forth and so forth. Spirit, what messages do you have for the great sign of Scorpio? Daughter was instantly healed. It took a lot of purpose. 
important for this woman to even speak to Jesus because of the racism of their time. She was despised and ridiculed for seeking an end to her family's torment, but she didn't give up. She believed God was the only one who could help her and she would not be deterred. Our own desperation can lead to sincere faith that can be of tremendous help to us in recovery. That's powerful. Read Matthew chapter 15, verses 22 through 28 for a great reference. So knowing that you have the star card that shows up. So therefore, having the opportunity to say in everything that you do, you're going to go to God. You're not absurd for setting that as a requirement. You want to know what it is to move forward in emotion that actually carries you to become the greater you. You're actually only willing to stand and walk forward if it's going to lead to freedom. The pursuit for freedom has become a priority and it took inner purity and it's going to require inner purity. For something to take inner purity is to begin. And for something to require inner purity is to do it again. And therefore, God goes. And why do you, by your traditions, violate the direct commandments of God? For instance, God says, honor your father and mother. And anyone who speaks disrespectfully of father or mother must be put to a greater help. But you say it is all right for people to say to their parents, sorry, I can't help you. For I have vowed to give to God what I would have given to you. In this way, say they don't need to honor their parents. And so you cancel the word of God for the sake of your own tradition. You hypocrites, Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you. For he wrote, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Their worship is a farce, for they teach man-made ideas as commands from God. Then Jesus calls the crowd to come and hear. Listen, he said, to try to understand. It is not what goes into your mouth that defiles you. You are defiled by the words that come out of your mouth. So therefore, knowing that some people will look down on us and criticize us for our dependencies and our need for recovery. They take on self-righteous posture because they are fulfilling all the religious duties while we may be far from a model church member. Jesus says, Jesus says that outward activities don't necessarily correspond to inner righteousness. If we do all the right things with proud and selfish hearts, we will be judged by God. If we have accepted Jesus into our hearts and are humbly trying to recover, God is pleased with us no matter what others may say. It's all about your recovery and knowing that sometimes having a zodiac sign that's only of a certain size doesn't mean that spiritually their calling isn't larger than life. So there is a need to no longer try to end the agony through ending your talent or your achievement or your crafts because you have the nine of swords, the sun card, and the, and the page of wands. That's exactly what that is. You have to take what you make as a present to yourself. Present isn't necessarily time. It is the time, effort, integrity, righteousness, self-respect that is paid forward for you to carry out a goal and let alone turn it into physical material accomplishments that aren't of the world. They're literally innovative intellectual products of your own greatness. So therefore, having the ability to capitalize 
in a way where God has taken you into sovereignty. You don't relinquish your sovereignty because the king of swords is trying to avoid being the hermit while having to understand that even on this star card, there's a, a kind of like a sword in her hand with a, a handheld mirror. She has to know the time to take, to say it's time to quit acting and go in and act for God so you can act right. It's time to act right. King of Swords mentality, nothing under that. And it takes becoming, going from the star card to the hermit. And you have the Leo card out here. You have the Cancer card out here. You have the Virgo card out here, for Pete's sake. You know, and it's literally going, seasons change. But the only thing that you should improve is not supporting being your own obstacle. And also, when you're forgiving yourself, you have to light that spiritual candle to light your way out of turmoil. Because knowing how to look at yourself after even the revelation of exactly where your faith has been hiding. And sometimes people don't mean to hide their faith in ways where once you really figure out what it is to actually be a lost sheep and understand that that was God's way of not rejecting the lady. He was saying, ask for the help that you're going to listen to. Don't let it be in vain. Know that you are the lost sheep. To actually be a lost sheep is the black sheep, but it's the actually real name is the lost sheep the sheep that has gone so far away from where it intended to actually be because it intended to stay guided by god but it had gone astray so far except that inner ear that inner listening that inner being that inner knowing that inner hey that inner calm that calms your soul is always set on seeking god for only god can touch your might, for only God can test your might. And that's what brought about the true scorpion character. And don't let it get so filthy by such a clean world. Because guess what? The world wipes clean those of their own attributes, accolades, and accomplishments. Note that you've already made straight A. You're a straight A student in the study of your own listening to your inner soul of how to know you haven't lost your taste for God and that God hasn't left speaking for you. You have the right to have faith to ask God that since God's waiting to speak for you, God's just waiting for you to show up and say, God, here I am. You are now the permanent representative of my life. Not just for how I look to deliver me in front of people. Because of extenuating circumstances. Not everyone carries their circumstances out their home let alone you admire those that carry their extenuating circumstances in public, yet they do it in such a manner that you falsely have understood it as grace. They learn to be elegant and lavish in the midst of their pain. And that, my friend, is complete escapism from the simple fact that when does everyone answer their intercom? God instead of waiting on clearing their voicemail on the telephone. Never let anyone tell lies to your vision and always keep that inner calm clean knowing that you are the pure sheep. Yes, God loves you. Namaste, Scorpio. Namaste.